Okay, we pasted our shoulder on a separate layer here, as you can see, and now we need to flip it. I was having problems before because I was going to um, image and then I was trying to transform and flip, but that will do all the layers together. So if you try to do that there, it'll do all the layers, so we didn't want that. So what you have to do is go to the specific layer. So I click on the layer, go to the specific layer menu, and then we go to transform and then flip horizontally and that just flips this shoulder. Then I can get my move tool from over here and I can move it to the other side. I can turn my background eyeball back on here. I can move this into position and I want to rotate it slightly so once again also I need to go to the layer menu transform and arbitrary rotation is what I want. And to do that I'll just move this out of the way and I can go right in here and I can rotate this slightly and when I like what I've done I go back to the window and click on the rotate button and now it's done. I get my move tool once again and I can move the shoulder into place. Um, I need a little erasing here to smoothen out some of these areas so uh, once again I'm on, I make sure I'm on the right layer grab my eraser tool and very lightly erase around some of these areas to give it a cleaner edge uh, especially on the shadow here right by her hair if I can erase just a little bit of that that'll be more realistic um, and maybe another little erase here, a little erase there I don't want to go too far because if I go too far the white will start showing up again when I'm happy with it I call it all good and uh, and it's time to uh, clone the grass. So to clone the grass I'm going to turn the eyeball off on this layer and go to my background layer. I grab my clone tool which is right here, it's called the rubber stamp tool I think and yes, paint using patterns or image regions. So I click that and I'm going to click once on the screen and hold down the control key to sample and then just start painting. And once again, I'll do the same here, and paint, 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 and over here, and you can see very quickly, you can have the whole thing fixed up in a jiffy. So I'm just going to paint like this until I get the shoulder area fixed up. So once again, I'm painting on the background layer right now, and then I'm going to turn my shoulder back on and it'll look nice. This hair almost done. Done. And the hair off sample from over there. So once again, to do this, I hold down the control key. Um, and I hold down the control key and I sample from a region. So hold down the control key and left click with the left mouse button to sample that area and then just start painting where you want the where you want the sample to go and that's all it is now I can turn my eyeball back on on my shoulder you see it's pretty good might even be able to just get my move tool and nudge it over a little bit there we go and that looks pretty darn good so if I'm happy with it I can just take this layer the shoulder and I can go to, uh, let's see here, I can go to layer, merge down, merge down. And that merges the shoulder onto the body, and now it's fixed for good. Uh, go back to my clone tool, and go ahead with uh, sampling, control clicking, 